Hello, my name is Nora, and as you can see, I'm wearing an orange shirt because by the time you see this, it will be orange shirt, orange shirt day. Orange shirt day is basically an opportunity to honor those the survivors and non-survivors of in, of residential schools in Canada. Residential schools were basically government-sponsored re religious schools ran by churches where they had students that were removed from their indigenous students that were removed from their homes. Uh, separated, sometimes separated from their siblings, and basically stripped away from their culture. An estimated 150 children attended these schools um, between 1831 and 1996, and um, about 6,000 children were 6,000 children died in these schools. But the number is not completely certain. These residential schools were essentially made to assimilate indigenous children into Euro-Canadian society and culture. In order to educate the children properly, we must separate them from their families. Some people may say that this is hard, but if we want to civilize them, we must do that. A federal cabinet minister, 1883. There was a lot of trauma and abuse. These children were forbidden to speak their native languages if boys, they were they were obliged to cut all their hair. They were stripped from traditional clothes and given new uniforms. In some cases, their name were their names were taken away, and they spent a lot of time teaching them uh, Christian practices while criticizing indigenous practices and traditions. Um, in many cultures, traditions and stories are passed down to generation to gen from generation to generation, but a lot of in a lot of indigenous people lost that because residential schools interrupted that line by putting them in these prisons basically. My strongest memory there is uh when when the little girl died beside me. She would have been she must have been about six. Um, I was scared uh, why the parents were not there. That's what I was scared about. And I knew they would have a, they wouldn't feel comfortable for not being there when their daughter is dying. And do you know why they weren't there? They were never notified. Indian children in the residential schools die at a much higher rate than in their villages. But this does not justify a change in the policy of this department, which is geared towards a final solution of our Indian problem. Duncan Campbell Scott, Deputy Superintendent of Indian Affairs. Although this is very tragic, luckily a lot of indigenous children now have, or some of them are learning their native languages, and my English teacher showed us a video of indigenous children speaking their language. So amazingly, some kids today are uh, going back and learning about their, like going back into their roots and learning about their heritage and learning their language. And that's amazing. But there is still a long way to go. Um, and I hope as we acknowledge this, part of history, uh, talking about their culture and all the amazing things we did, we can move towards a better future and a better Canada. Thank you so much for watching this. I encourage you all to wear an orange shirt if you can and honor the survivors and non-survivors of res residential schools. And um, I mean, honor them every day and acknowledge uh, the pain and suffering that came with this tragic part of history. Peace and love.